Hey you guys and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here and you don't know who I am, my name is Casey, also known as Case. I am one half of Tulips Freedom. Welcome to our channel. We are absolutely glad to have you. If you are not subscribed, definitely go ahead and do that right now. Don't forget to hit those post notifications so that you can be notified of all of our posts as soon as we put them up. Make sure that you're giving us a like. Yep, a like. Go ahead and do that right now. Leave us some comments below. Let us know how you like this video. Let us know what you'd like to see from us in the future. And also, go ahead and share this video with a friend that you think might like it. So, I am in a different spot today, temporarily, until I change our room around. But I thought I'd sit in here because the lighting seems to be a bit better right here than other places of the house. But, say hi to Baby. Baby's joining us today. That's Baby, our bull. And, um... We like having her around. She's so pleasant and so full of life and color. This video is just going to be a quick tip video about things that I think people should stop doing to please other people. It's stuff that I've had to learn how to do myself and I thought I'd go ahead and share those tips with you and maybe you can share them with someone else. Maybe it's going to be valuable to someone down the line. So who am I to hold back on all the good stuff I be knowing? I mean like how selfish of me would that be if I just didn't share? I mean, I know some of y'all just like to hold on to stuff and don't let nobody else know nothing, but I like to give because a lot has been given to me. So let's go ahead and jump right in with the first tip. Y'all know how many people be loving me until I disagree with them, until I be like, Pump your brakes, boo. You done crossed the point of no return and I ain't going down that road. I think it is imperative for you to understand that you don't have to agree with someone just because they're your BFF or just because they're a family member. It is okay to agree to disagree, especially if it is going to make you feel some type of way that you did it in the long run. Friends crying on our shoulders and stuff and we'd be all mad with them, but the minute that she'd be like, I'm finna go bust out my ex's windows, boop. Stop that in its tracks. Do not go along with someone when you do not agree with their behavior, their thoughts, or whatever it is. Because in the end, you have to live with the decisions that you make just as much as they have to as well. So, you know what? I got plenty of friends until the day comes when I'll be like, I ain't riding with you. So, therefore, I ain't really got no friends because um, I'll never be riding with nobody. It's okay to disagree agree to disagree and that is a tip that I will always share. It is timeless and that's why so many people use it. That wind is howling out there. Jeez, let me be great. I want to share with you is to not downplay your value in order to make other people happy because I feel like so many times we stifle ourselves and we don't live up to our fullest potentials because we don't want to offend someone else because you don't want them to feel some type of way about who you are, your successes, your um, accomplishments. You don't want them to feel down and out. Now I'm not sitting here saying that you got to S-H-I-T on them or anything like that um, and make them feel less than but you definitely don't have to downplay your worth and your value just to please other people. If anything you know hype it up live it up and maybe that'll inspire them to do great things with their lives. I mean honestly I don't know how many times that you know I toot my own horn and then psh, two weeks later I see my friends trying to toot their own dog on horns I ain't never tooted before I didn't even know they had no dog on horns but I'm not always there when you call but I'm always on time I gave you my all now baby do you mind I gave you I know y'all was waiting for me to sing that song today, so I had to give you one. Just had to give you one. Yeah, I'm going to have to just channel Ashanti that way if I request her presence because she's not going to make herself available to me. She's got things to do. She's out here living her dreams and accomplishing goals and slaying all day. And honestly, that's a tip that I want to share with you guys. Stop being available every single time someone requests your presence or assistance. I am definitely not saying in someone's time of need, don't be there. But really, how many times of need can someone have um, that's going to take away from what you want to do in life and what you're trying to set out and accomplish I mean, you know really you just can't really make yourself available that much in order for other people to value your time and your energy spent you have to value it first so by you valuing it means that you're gonna put people at bay and not be available for them just because they want to shoot the shit with you 
No, you got other things to do. Stop trying to please them and please yourself and get done in your life what you need to get done. Why I always got to fight to prove my love. So is that you? Are you always trying to prove yourself to family and friends and those who love you or claim that they love you? Every time that you get ready to do something, you have to prove that you're worthy or you deserve the accomplishments or the accolades, should I say, that you've been given. I mean, how many times do you have to prove your worth to someone else? If you find yourself doing that, let me give you a tip. Stop. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and stop right now. Stop what you're doing. Stop. We don't need constant validation from other people to determine our self-worth. And if you find yourself constantly having to prove yourself over and over and over again, fighting for love, fighting for acceptance, then something is probably deeper and you need to get to the root of that. It has nothing to do with someone else and everything to do with you that you feel like you always have to prove yourself to get other people to respect you and to love you. Evaluate that and stop trying to prove yourself to other people, especially ones that don't matter. I think we've all been here. Um, where we try to please others and we go against our moral fiber. Things that we just know in our core don't feel right. But because of who this person is in our life, we go ahead and we ride with them. This kind of ties back into that first tip of, you know, agreeing to disagree. But you know what? I just want to drive this home. Do not go against your core fiber, your core moral fiber of what you truly feel in your gut isn't right just to please someone else. Because more than anything, more than legal consequences, our own moral conscience, our own conscience will kill us and take us down and have us in this place of guilt more than being behind bars ever could. So you guys, Take it from me, someone who absolutely knows. Do not go against what your gut tells you not to do in order to please someone else who could probably give a rat's ass whether you win or lose. That's it. Okay, and that is it, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to my five tips about things that I think you should stop doing in order to please other people. These are my top five. Of course, it's not all encompassing. There's so many more things that I could list, but these are ones that I find that a lot of people do that end up making them feel guilty about it way later on in the process. So if you can just take these tips and apply them in your own life, I promise you, people will start respecting you for the person that you are and not for who who they want you to be. Thanks so much for listening. What are some of the tips that you have for people to stop doing to please other people? Leave them in the comments. Let's talk. Let's chat. And let me know how you like this video and what types of videos you'd like to see from me in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you guys greatly. And again, if you're not subscribed, what you waiting on, boo? Go ahead and do that for your girl. And I'll see you next week. Bye.